as the National Cooperative Business Association, some of you know it as NCBA. And I had the opportunity uh, a few years ago to visit some of the projects that NCBA works doing international cooperative development. And one that I visited uh, that always sticks with me was in uh, the West African country of Ghana, uh, where we spent time essentially teaching people how to engage in their fairly young democracy. And there's a lot of work that's being done uh, by NCBA to teach people how to engage and how to uh, work through the struggles that happen when you're working in a group. And I thought about how much that same work is the work that we do here uh, in food co-ops and in co-ops here domestically as well. And for me, it was really uh, eye-opening because, you know, I think about the level of political discourse in this country and how people get kind of fed up and sometimes check out. And in food co-ops in particular, that's a, a group that we all know really well, um, you know, we know that there are disagreements. <laughs> Let's put that on the table. And I think that our success isn't really about whether we don't ever have disagreements, but how we take those disagreements and move forward. And to me, it's a really exciting place because food co-ops are one of the places where people who are civically minded can come together and really put democracy into action, and it's where the rubber hits the road. And when we come together around food co-ops, uh, will the food co-op managers in the room raise your hands again? Um, so it's kind of interesting, because often as we're working on our ends, mostly policy government stores here, uh, food co-op managers don't just get to run a grocery store. <laughs> that would be the easy way out. We're asked to develop our communities. We're asked to help alleviate poverty and food deserts. We're asked to take on a lot of big community ills through the work of having a food co-op. And, I, you know, that could be kind of daunting some days. But it's the work that really feeds us. And it is the place where people who want to make change in the world can come together around a business that, yes, you have to be a sustainable business because, as we say in lacrosse, no margin, no mission. So if we want to make change, we have to be a successful, sustainable business. We have to be values driven. And we have to have member input. And where in the world can you find that except in co-ops? So it's a really exciting opportunity for us to have this conversation today. I'm really glad you're all here. And I look forward to meeting more of you as the day goes on. So thanks again.